Okay, so let's start today's webinar. Uh, my name is Lawrence, and I'll be hosting today's webinar for FileCloud Team Folders. Uh, these are the topics that we'll cover today. Overview of FileCloud Team Folders, benefits of using Team Folders, setting up Team Folders, and sharing Team Folders. What is FileCloud Team Folders? FileCloud Team Folders simplifies enterprise file sharing and collaboration by offering common folders that teams can use to share and manage documents. To give you an overview, Team Folders are common folders where teams or departments can store files for collaboration or sharing. Team Folders can be created only by admin accounts or authorized users. Once a team folder is shared with a team, the folder is instantly available to all members of the team. Lastly, admins can change access privileges on subfolders under a team folder. So what are the benefits of having or using team folders? You'll have centralized content management, easy provisioning, and granular control of folders. To give you a demo on this, I will show you what is required so you can start utilizing or setting up your team folders. Two things, a team folder requires a file cloud account to be associated to. And the team folder will also need to be shared before users can access a team folder. Right now, I'm, go I'm currently logged in to the admin portal. To enable team folders, I need to go to settings team folders and click on the option for enable team folders. First, it would prompt you to select an account or enter a team folder account name. You can either select an existing account or allow team folder to set up a full an account to be associated to the team folder. Right now, um, I have previously created an account called master. I will be using that account to set as a team folder account. You click OK, and you'll see master will be used for the team folder account. Next, as you go into team folders, uh, there you can start adding a folder. Right now, I can add a team folder for demo sake. Okay, and that will basically add an option under, or that will basically add team folder or a new team folder. What would it look like under an account or a client portal account? I'm going to log in right now as a regular user. I have here a test account. Okay, I'm gonna go back just to test this out. When you start setting up team folder, every time or when a user logs in to the client portal, they would only be seeing my files if my files is enabled. Team folders by default will not be showing up as soon, unless the admin would start setting up team folders. Earlier, I was it was already showing up because I had a share enabled, but right now, this is how the normal view of a user when they start using team folders. They will not be seeing any of the team folder showing up. If I'm an admin, what I would start to do is I can start sharing a team folder. Notice here that I have created a folder previously called webinar. I can select team, I can select the webinar team folder and click on manage. This would start sharing the file or sharing the team folder. I click on okay. 
by default, a team folder is using a public share, which indicates the allow everyone being selected under share permissions. What this does is that everyone with the share URL would be able to access the team folder webinar. You can also set permissions on what users that would have the URL would be able to do. You can either have them view and download, view, download, and upload, view, upload, view only, and upload only. By default, it's set to view and download. What this tells me is that the user is able to view the folder and would only be able to download files into the folder. They would not be able to add um, files or folders into the webinar team folder. So what it would look like. I can go and refresh an account here. Notice that the team folder would still not be showing up. However, if I open up a separate browser, and I go ahead and copy the share URL, This folder currently has a one file, uh, which is licensed at the XML. And notice that the account or the browser that I'm currently opening right now is able to preview, open the document, and would also be able to download the file under the folder that was shared. To give you a, an, a view on the admin side, if I click on the webinar folder, I have one file here called license set XML. I have another uh, browser that's accessing the webinar team folder through the share URL. So this is how it would look like. Now, another option that you would you can do when sharing a team folder is to privately share or to use private share in sharing a team folder. To do that, you can click on manage and select on allow selected users and groups. You have the option to either um, add a guest or add specific users, or you can either add a group. For this demo, I'm going to add a group and I'm going to add everyone. Everyone would be all users or is a default group for all users in the file cloud system. Right now it's defaulted to allow view and allow download. I'm not going to change anything on that and I'll go ahead and click on close. If I go back to the test user client portal that I have opened earlier and hit on refresh, notice that the team folder now appears under the root directory. You can click on team folders and you will see the webinar folder that's being displayed when, where I have view and download permissions only. Now, another feature that you can use on team folder is to, is to use folder permissions. What this does is you can actually grant or set granular permissions on the subfolder for a web folder or for a team folder, I'm sorry. I will show you. So right now I have here a pre-created uh, web team folder called accounting. I click on manage. I have the accounting. What I wanna do is I can share the accounting group or the accounting team folder to everyone. Click on everyone. I could give them view. I can actually give them all permissions here. Click on OK. And if I go back to the client portal that I have was logged in earlier, I can now see accounting. I can also see bookkeeping and finance folder. But this is for the test user one. Right now, I'm going to try and log in as or before I go ahead and proceed to that one, I can see two folders under the accounting. What I wanna do is that, for example, I have a user and I only want to grant the user access to the finance folder. 
what I, what I can do with that is that I can go to uh, the admin portal, go to the accounting folder, open it. And I have here the two folders, finance and bookkeeping. Here, you would see a button on the top that says permissions. This is how, or this is where you would access folder permissions. Click on the button and you can, in here, you can set a specific user or a group and give them privileges or access to the folder. Right now, I'm going to, or I've already added test user one and granted test user one full access to the folder, to the finance folder. And then I can go to group and I can deny the everyone group access to the finance folder. So this is indicated by the access. I can click on close. Now I'm going to log into the ad or to the user portal using a different account. I'm test user two right now, which is indicated here in the top right. Click on team folders. I can go to accounting and notice the test user two is unable to see the finance folder. The finance folder right now is only exclusively shared to test user one. So this is how you can grant granular permission, folder permissions to team folders. Okay, at this point, um, I think I have shared all information regarding setting up your team folders. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to enter your questions through the Q&A portion of the webinar, and I, I would be happy to answer them for you. We can try and wait for a few minutes more in case anybody has any questions. Okay, um, if you don't have any questions, I would like to uh, remind everyone that uh, we will be sending out emails to all attendees and registrants for this webinar. If you need any help, you can always visit our website, help.coldlate.com, where you can open a support ticket. You can also visit our documentations, which is getfilecloud.com slash support docs, and go through our uh, tutorial videos that, are, that is available 